Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about audio records for your business. Why audit records? Audit records is to review your current records management policies and retention procedures according to the regulatory requirements of your organization. It is to help your business maintain compliance and audit also improve organizational efficiency. The objective of audit records is to adequate records where all the information are maintained to account fully and transparently for all action and decision and demonstrate due professional care. There are consistent and documented retention and disposal procedures to include provision for permanent preservation of archival material and secure disposal of information at the end of its life. There are three scope and elements of an audit. First, environment control. The attitude, alertness, and wound seal of directors, managers, and shareholders are reflected through environmental control. Second, Accounting system. Accounting system means some procedures and recordings with which identification of business transaction, classification, summarization, statement preparation, and analysis for timely presentation of correct information are performed. And the last one is control procedure. The additional policies and procedures adopted by the business authority for ensuring the achievement of the specific goal of a business organization are the control procedures. These control procedures are to proper delegation of power, to segregate of responsibility, to prepare and use of document, to adopt of adequate security measures to protect the properties, and to ensure the independent control over the execution of activities. There are five components of records audit. The first one is controlling the environment. Moral values, managerial skills, the honesty of employees and managerial direction, etc. are included in the controlling environment. Second one is risk assessment. After setting up the objective of business, external and internal risk are to be accessed. The third one is the control activities. These control activities include all those measures that are to be followed by the employees. The fourth one is information and communication. Relevant information for taking decisions are to be collected and reported in a proper time. And the last one is monitoring. When the internal control system is in practice, the organization monitors its effectiveness so that necessary changes can be brought if any serious problem arises. Good record practice resulted to an excellent audit assessment. Now, you have finished your Learning Theories 5. Thank you for listening. See you in the next Learning Theories.